the whole gang, Coach Michelle leading it. Jason's on the camera. We got Trisha, we got Brittany, we got Teresa, and we got Turbo Tammy. So what we have for you today, they're warming up. Make sure you're doing the same thing. Four station layout. We're going to go through those four moves for four rounds, and then we're going to hit a three-minute burnout to finish it out. All right, we're going to get it going right here. Find it. So 55 on, 15 off. Here's that 10-second countdown. First move is going to be a full body extension. So Trish is going to demo. You're going to go down, jumping up off the ground, really extending. You're extending that full body. Tammy's going to be hitting those mats for us. She's going up on the toes, getting nice and low, and then still extending those arms. It is important that you are extending your entire body. We're at a nice, steady pace here for the first round. Notice everyone's got their arms going straight up in the air. They're taking it down, nice soft bend, and then exploding up to the top. We do have that longer timer today, so we're focused on a nice, steady pace. We're shaking it out real quick if we need to. And get right back to it. Now get nice and low. There we go. Make sure you're staying in and at home. Remember, we're doing three in one day, so you guys better be going the whole time. Getting nice and low there, exploding up. The core is locked in, the legs are locked in, arms are locked in. You're reaching for that ceiling. You can jump at home, just land to a long heel. Keeping it going. Come on. Give me a couple more good reps here, guys. Woo! It out. It's only the first one. You guys got this. Here we go. All right, next up, we got T abs. So I'm going to demonstrate this one. So you're going to take it down to the floor. You're hitting that T and then tucking it all in. She's coming all the way off the ground. There are a couple ways to take this down a level here. So Tammy's going to be showing one modification. She's got her back on the ground the whole time. When they're going back, their entire body is flat on the ground, though. Yeah, I'll get over here and show it. There's no arch here. We got those hands. I fit my hand under there the whole time. Sorry, I'm getting in your way. Another way to do it, you can put the hands underneath the back if you need a little bit more support, and you're just hitting those knee tucks. So notice that Trisha again is coming all the way up on her tailbone. Another way to hit this one, Brittany's gonna show it over here. She's just got her head and neck shoulders up the whole time, but leaving that back on the floor. Feeling that stretch, bringing it back up. Hitting that tailbone as well. Make sure you're keeping those legs together. Take those legs all the way out. Hit that full T. Tuck it all the way in. Remember, belly button to the spine. That's what I want you guys to focus on. That belly button. You're rounding it out like a cat. You want to make sure you're keeping that back nice and flat. Here we go. Come on. Give me a couple more, guys. We're almost there. All right. And what's better than burpees? Half burpees. So, Trish is going to down the street. This one, too. She does a straight down. We're going to pop it back. Hit that squat. So what we're taking out is that vertical jump extension of the burpee. You're going to pop it back and then hit that squat. We'll take it back here with Tammy. Tammy's going to show that modified version. She's stepping back. Hit that squat. So one foot at a time. Stepping back. Stepping it back up. Coming up for the squat and then dropping your chest back down. So notice that she brings her head and chest up. She's not keeping it towards the floor. Getting up nice and low. We've got these handles here. Remember, Jason said they're real easy to find on Amazon. Super cheap. Help take that impact off the wrist a little bit. Make sure you're staying nice and low. You want to think about your knee coming all the way to your elbow. So when you pop it back, that knee to elbow, that's what you want to focus on. Brittany does a really good job of it right here. She's bringing that knee to the elbow and then bringing the chest up. So you're looking at the floor when you're hitting the bottom of that burpee. As you pop it up, you want to look straight ahead of you, hitting nice and low. You got it, guys. Ten more seconds. Here we go. Here we go. All the way to the end. Come on, give me a couple more good reps here, guys. Come on, finish it out. All right, next up we got 10 and 2 punches. Now on neck here, Teresa's going to grab some weights to add in. And what you're going to do is you're going to punch it out at 10. Those feet are moving in that jumping jack motion. In between each rep, she's bringing those hands together, and those arms together, and the feet together. So here we go. Punch it out. <laughs> Let Brittany show it. Here, Teresa's going to demonstrate with these dumbbells. You grab those lighter weight dumbbells, put them in your hands. You got soup cans you don't mind holding. You can use those as well. Tammy back here, she's going to hit that modified version. So she is stepping out one foot at a time, punching across her body. She's just taking that impact of the jump out, making sure she's moving at a nice, quick pace. So as you get more comfortable with this one, then you start picking it up. And this is our last set off round one. So they're finishing out that nice, steady pace. Because after this one, we're going to really pick it up. So remember, you're punching out at 10, guys. Punching out at 2. Make sure those feet are moving in and out. Keeping that core nice and engaged is important as you're hitting these jumping moves. That core stays tight. Here we go, guys. Come on, come on, here we go. Finish that strong, guys. Finish that strong. We got it here. And check that music out. We over to it. Good job, guys. Keep working. Keep working. Come on. All 
rest.